Good morning, soldiers, and welcome to the beautiful uh, 16th day of February 2008. And uh, welcome to Earth Sanctuary World Nature Centre. It's about seven in the morning, and uh, I've spent uh, after the day shift yesterday. I came back, and uh, it's a nice time to start tidying up the sanctuary in preparation for a great year of human activity. So I've been uh, getting stuck into the sanctuary pool, and uh, now uh, I've uh, just had a bit of a once-over on the uh, the sanctuary entertainment shed, which is looking pretty good. Not a bad effort, I might say. I slept like a baby, and um, she's looking all right. So if you can see a bit of all that, not bad, not bad, not bad. Here's the uh, the beautiful kitchen where Joey and Danny have all spent a lot of time preparing food, even the old macaroni, uh, Maltese macaroni, to get people into water. So. Um, what I've got to do now is get stuck into the uh, the Earth Sanctuary bar, and uh, here just give her a bit of a once over. The she um, the old outback does accumulate a bit of dust from uh, all this beautiful red sand that flings around. So um, bar's going to get a bit of a going. I'm going to get stuck into the uh, the wonderful uh, the amphitheater. This is where we do all our wonderful star shows and our cultural tours, where we look at spirituality, survival, arts, and music. And, uh, and ceremony and the importance of that. So this is gonna get a bit of a go. This awesome little fireplace here is, um, is where uh, all the SFYC uh, Galactic Federation team have spent many a nights in discussion about the galaxy, extraterrestrial civilizations and survival on this planet Earth. We've danced around it in our underpants and had uh, many a wonderful occasion, so it's time to get her ready again for the 2008 Bonanza. So she's looking good, gonna get that fireplace going. And uh, over here, give her a bit of a once-over, a once-over. Clean up the uh, the uh, Enviroloo toilet and uh, give her a bit of a raking all around. And, um, and then we're gonna get inside later on today and do a little bit of editing. So um, uh, apart from that, uh, we've got some news to do from around the world, see what's going on. I've already heard Afghanistan is um, under some serious threat from cold weather really affecting the human populations there. It's stifling the farming and making things very difficult. So uh, we're gonna check that out later on. China's also uh, going through a bit of a struggle in its bulge to, um, to drive its economy and it's uh, having to go and really seriously consider going green if it is to survive in any which way. So uh, what a wonderful time of choice. Uh, all right guys, good morning to you. Welcome to Earth Sanctuary, and um, we'll see you in a few moments. Uh, we've got some work to do. Woohoo! It's Saturday. Woohoo! Okay, superstars, let's get started. This is the beautiful amphitheatre, and she is central to all the Earth Sanctuary World Nature Centre tours that we conduct because everything here is about bringing people together. And this little fireplace here has been remarkable, and uh, the amount of international people from Africa, South America, Central America, um, over there in Asia, uh, parts of China, Korea, um, literally from all the way around the world we've seen wonderful people come here where we've explored astronomy, ceremony, looking at the star systems, constellations, the zodiac and, uh, and simply uh, tried to break down the gaps, the differences that exist between people from around the world and to remind them that we all live on this one beautiful planet as one single organism and uh, central to all our tours that we conduct here uh, is the reminder that we are one, we live on one planet and the decisions that we make all affect each other and this is essential, uh, is, this is the very workings of Earth Sanctuary World Nature Centre and, uh, and that's why people who have come here have, uh, have felt so warmed and uh, enriched as a result of the experience and have a look at this, this is our star bar, what a view that is, she's just a beauty and uh, this, uh, this venue here is a licensed bar and restaurant and uh, we pretty much set that up purely to make it easier for people and more accommodating to cater for all people and all walks of life and um, it's certainly been that case 
and uh, we attract uh, school groups to Earth Sanctuary. Um, we get uh, tours from uh, from overseas that uh, that book the centre out, and we also now get a lot of functions where uh, where uh, all the different gatherings and groups that we have from uh, the community and around Australia, for that matter, uh, come here to uh, to take part in the uh, in the beautiful settings of Earth Sanctuary. And uh, this is the little uh, golden jewel at the sanctuary. It's uh, it may be a toilet to most people, but this is the future and the composting toilet is an absolute sensational solution for uh, reducing our footprint on the planet Earth and uh, there's so much to learn from this little basic unit. Look at that, eh? The little U Beauty Envirolu toilet. She's never looked so good and uh, there's nothing better than saving 50 litres per person per day if you can get this uh, little baby, this composting water-free toilet legal in your neck of the woods. Uh, don't worry about, uh, try and urge your local council and government to get going, but it is the reality of the future. The day we stop dropping our loads in our most precious commodity, be it the beautiful water, uh, I think things will slowly move forward. Uh, the composting toilets are a lifesaver for the planet Earth. Oh, just being here makes me reflect on all the wonderful thousands of people that have come to Earth Sanctuary World Nature Centre to enjoy the wonderful ceremonies and star tours. And uh, this is the gateway to the amphitheatre where uh, people can celebrate, get together and uh, revisit the Earth. Alrighty superstars, job done. It's wonderful to, uh, to give the, uh, the beautiful Earth Sanctuary a bit of a once over to uh, get us sparkled up for the uh, coming season of human beings to come and explore spirituality and survival. The, uh, the pool's looking lovely, the, uh, the e-shed, have a look at this. The old kitchen over here, looking fine, not bad. The old cinema there, the old gateway to the guts here, and the star bar right behind you, have a look behind you. Looking ever so fine, and obviously the amphitheatre's been set up now, if you have a bit of a look over here sits 80 to 100 people and uh, as the winter comes in for Central Australia this is where we'll be hanging out to do our wonderful star observations and uh, extraterrestrial, extra dimensional uh, sighting uh, tours and that's going to be a cracker as we go into a new season 2008 to get the human mindset uh, prepared for the, uh, this transformation as consciousness transformation, transformation okay guys I'm going to get back into the homestead and check out some weather Sounds great, but first things first, let's get down to Melbourne, Australia and join Joey and Danny as Danny Boy packs his bags to return to the beautiful Red Centre tomorrow morning. Yeah, because the moon is the closest at the moment, yeah. and there's a star just at the bottom, um, sort of south-easterly uh, direction. Yeah, probably is, Tommy. Well, well, there's a couple of clear nights there, yeah? Oh, the, the, star, the stars are looking beautiful here. Last night was just a really, really clear night, so you could um, you get a good view. I've had to bring out the mattress on the uh, on the swag again, but it's, uh, it's lovely out there. Dad and I have been talking about putting the deck out there, so we can oh, have a... Oh, on top a, of that roof? Yeah, so we can have a... That's a great spot, isn't it? Yeah. So yeah, okay, that'd be great. Yeah, so we can have a sky observation uh, uh, here at, the, at Mount Martha, because the, the stars here are just as beautiful. Yeah, I think the water helps it because it just cleans the air, so I think because it's around the water, it, it, that, that's the filter, so... Well, you're getting salt air over your head, over your face, yeah. yeah. I yeah. think that helps, certainly helps along a bit. Yeah, great work there folks. So uh, let's get some news from around the world for the 16th day of February 2008. First up was from uh, down here in the southern parts of the planet in uh, Mackay of Queensland who have had a serious bout of severe floods over the last month. Uh, the volcano in Mexico, uh, Popo Catapetl, is spewing ash three kilometres into the sky. Um, further over to storms uh, activity in Santiago, uh, more disruptions occurring from the severity of that impact. Uh, Pakistan have tested a nuke, a nuclear weapon, uh, in this instant to uh, to try and reach northern and western parts of India. Uh, there is no step forward when it comes to military or uh, or confrontational action. It uh, it is a an end which destroys all parties, and uh, certainly there are no winners. Finally, um, from an astronomical perspective, a new solar system has been picked up on this occasion, 5,000 light years away from the Earth. Finally, on the uh, 20th day of this month, on February. We expect the last 
uh, lunar eclipse to occur for this uh, uh, right until December 2010. More headlines you'll see on millicom.com for this day. Hope you guys are smiling um, and doing what you can to get active in this wonderful time of planetary transformation. Take care and catch you soon.